guys, this is Chanu with InnoKinetic. Welcome back. It's 2023 already. So, wanted to make a quick video to tell you about what we've got in store for you. But first, let's start with a little recap of 2022. I think 2022 was two steps forward, one step back. Overall, a good year, but I think we started feeling a bit of the pinch of the recession, like many of you. So sales are down a little bit, but that's okay. We're still excited about all of what we got done in 2022 and what we've got in store for 2023. So yeah, so 2023 marks the 20th anniversary of when I started developing parts for the Lotus Elise and Exige. Believe it or not, you know, I went through one of my old technical notebooks and I saw that I started looking up wheels and brake lines and researching car covers and other products for, for the car. Even though my lease was not to arrive till November of 2004, I had started kind of my R&D, if you will, well over a year beforehand. So anyhow, we're going to introduce several products to kind of, you know, celebrate that milestone of 20 years. And so look for some interesting products, um, some new things, as well as some maybe special edition versions of existing loved products. You guys know, you know, for the most part, we have so many of our products that we've developed are frankly the industry leading, you know, components or parts for, for the Elise and Exige. You know, our monolite wheels are unsurpassed. They are simply the best wheel for the car. Our ultra uh, ultradisc brake rotors from Girodisc, superb. We introduced, things in, introduced them in 2005. Without any design changes, they've been running really, really well. Um, our Shifter 111, which we introduced back in 2016, you know, that's been a fantastic product. Our Sonic Fury muffler, well-loved by the community, dead quiet when you're cruising, shrieks like a banshee when on cam. So expect more really class-leading products, and in fact, one of those items, is the Monolite 2, uh, is getting updated. We're going to be introducing the Monolite 2s in 2023, it's gonna be an even lighter wheel. I mean, these are the lightest wheels on the planet for this car, and now we're gonna introduce an even lighter version. So, anyhow, um, but having said all of that, we know that, you know, we're all feeling the financial pinch. So we're going to try to do our best to introduce a few value-oriented products in 2023. Um, you know, Ethos wheels are the best value on the planet for this car, and we introduced those, in fact, at the last recession. So. Interestingly enough, we got a batch of those things finally getting here any day. So, wonderful, wonderful product, proven performance. We campaigned a, a Lotus Elise in, in Lotus Cup racing with Ethos wheels to prove to the world how good these wheels are. So, related, we've got another great value-oriented product in the mix. We, we started working on this last year. Um, and here I am publicly announcing it for the first time, but the Shifter 111 2.0 version will be coming out later this year. So we've worked to try to reduce the cost of that item. You know, over the last couple, three years, the price has continued to just creep up. Many of you know raw material costs have just gone through the roof. And so our Shifter 111 has gone up in price accordingly. So we started working on a simpler solution, looking at ways how can we decontent the product without giving up performance. So anyhow, I should have a prototype in, in my car in the next month or two for us to begin testing. And if that all goes well, hopefully we can introduce an, uh, a new 2.0 version of the Shifter 111 later this spring. So keep your eyes peeled for that item. So what else can we talk about? Well, we've got some other interesting products coming, some new windshield solutions. Um, uh, and what else? Oh, several other items that we've been working on. Obviously, our Katana 3 has been on my car, you know, in my car for the last few months. We've been testing it like crazy. It's, it's a superb solution. But there's a few things from a supply chain that we've got to reinvigorate. The number one being the manifolds, which we used to get from Gretti. Gretti no longer produced the manifold. So we're going to have to uh, produce our own manifolds for the Katana 3. So look for that later this year. We um, are going to start developing a bunch of parts for the Amira. You know, we're excited about that car. It's going to be Lotus's last ICE vehicle. So we're going to introduce a whole host of solutions from wheels to brakes to um, exhaust systems and, and much more. Nitron, in fact, gave us a little sneak peek into some of their development plans. And they've got a full suite of products that they're planning for that car. 
uh, from a handling perspective. So we're super excited about being able to make those uh, on offer to, to you. So anyways, related to the Emira, well, I guess I probably failed to mention, in 2022, we finished two 111 RSs. I'm super proud of that car because it really is superb. I, I love what we've been able to do by taking these tired old Elises and Exegias and revitalizing them, making them into really, really great cars. You know, we came up with the 111 RS nomenclature because we feel the car is in fact very different. It's, it's a true outlaw, it has all of our upgrades, making it perform on another level from the, a standard Elise or Exige. So, we hope to build a few more of those this year and in the coming years because we know there's a lot of people out there like you, like me, who love the art of driving. We love that visceral feeling of driving a pure, pure car. So we think that there is going to continue to be a real demand for people who want a car like the 111 RS because for the money, what else can you buy? There is no manufacturer that can deliver, frankly, a car um, that is as simple and as light as one of these cars. So anyhow, we're, we're excited and bullish about that car and frankly we're bullish about the Elise and Exige. We really think that these cars have got long legs for those of us who love driving. So related to that, another pure driver's car that we will be reintroducing in 2023 if all goes well with the supply chain reinvigoration that we need to get going with and that is the Draken Spider. Car that we had introduced um, several years ago and then after building seven we had to hit the pause button. Frankly it took a lot more money than we had to continue production. So we are getting that production started again this year. Uh, we're bringing production in-house so we can control our costs a little bit better. We're very, very excited to start building car number eight, so look for announcements there. It's, it's a very interesting lightweight sports car. For those of you who really, again, love driving, the Draken is another one of those interesting cars. Filling a niche with a V8, you know, 2,000 pounds and 430 horsepower. Hard to beat, really, really fun car to drive. So we're excited to get that car going again in 2023. So what else can I talk to you guys about? Um, you know, events, we're gonna have some more events. I'm, I'm hoping to host some meet and greet uh, events around the country, not just here in SoCal, but th you know, around the country so I can meet up with you know, many of you that are fans of us and have been doing business with us these many, many years. And so I look forward to seeing a lot of you guys at some of those events. Of course, we're gonna do some track days, we're gonna do some lifestyle events, a wine run, technical seminars here in SoCal. So hopefully I'll see some of you at one of these events, whether it's here or across the country. So anyways, thank you so much for, for uh, tuning in and don't hesitate to, to reach out to us with any questions. Call us, email us. We will respond. Okay, you know we will. So thanks for, for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you. See you guys later.